why and where should people plant native plants? In my opinion, they should plant them everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> The why, Every question square is inch. the why question is the larger portion of that. Give us three good reasons why we should just simply focus on native plants. Native plants don't require life support that plants from other lands require. They don't, and once they're established, they don't require irrigation. They don't require fertilizer. They don't require pesticides. They're specifically suited to the environment to which they're native. So what you're saying is if someone plants something that's native, you know, in their in their garden, they shouldn't have to be out there watering it, you know, constantly and Less fertilizing water. it and they can just kind of leave More it alone natural. and Completely. it'll be fine. Yes, after a few years when they're first installed, mm -hmm. they're going to need some water. But after that, I mean, consider the forests. Nobody's mm -hmm. raking or spraying or weeding or any of that. It it's mm -hmm. a self-sustaining system and that's what the native plants are. They're part of our ecosystem, and the ecosystem will sustain. I know. Uh, one, uh, the, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, one of the things that's really important when you uh, purchase uh, native plants is uh, you want to try and buy natives that were grown out from locally collected seed because then you're getting the genotype that's most, that's evolved to adapt to our local conditions. If, if you buy a native plant, let's say a native highbush blueberry, and that highbush blueberry was grown out in Pennsylvania, and you plant that next to a highbush blueberry that was grown from uh, hand-collected uh, blueberry seeds locally, uh, the one that uh, was grown from hand-collected seeds is going to grow much faster. It's going to have um, less uh, disease problems. It's going to provide a lot more food for uh, wildlife. Um, there's a, a not-for-profit uh, organization that's been doing a super job in terms of increasing the public's awareness about protection of local uh, genotypes, and that's the uh, Native Grass Initiative that's based at Suffolk Community uh, College mm -hmm. in uh, Rivhead, and they actually have an extensive network of uh, volunteers that are collecting seeds locally. They grow out those uh, seeds and then they make the native seedlings available for sale to uh, property owners. I've purchased a lot of plants from them and it's amazing how fast they grow and it's amazing how well they do. <laughs>